I go through a lot to try to become the next biggest actor. And he goes through a lot to try to become the next biggest superstar hip hop artist. This is closer to fame. Three, two, one. Got an audition today for a series regular for this new pilot. And apparently the the, the new pilot's been ordered for two seasons, so I'll go rock out and do my best. Gotcha. 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 I know they talking crazy, I can tell. Yeah. I feel it in the air. Time to go upstairs to this interview. Woo! Shout out to the homie for uh, Sirius Satellite for letting us come through and uh, show some love and all of that. She's a homie. Definitely. I'm OD. I'm your ride or die. I'm your ride or die. Woo! ATG was good. ATG was good. What up, Brody? Music video coming soon. Definitely, man. Make sure y'all go check that recent vlog out. The sneak peek of Ride or Die, man. Shit is Lee Motivated man. featuring ATG featuring me, King Young Boy, man. Shot by y'all very own Patrick Bias, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. Click it, click it, click it. Click it or you gonna get, get a, a ticket. ticket. <laughs> Came a long way from the old days. Yeah. Now people like it's no way. It's no way. Cause that Catholic school, it made me. My mama rules, it made me. My life changed. It's crazy. It's crazy. And all I gotta say, nigga, fuck the rest. If you ain't talking money, money, money. Wrong address. Cause, cause, Cause I wanna fucking be the best. Uh. Just a young nigga tryna lose his. Alright, so I am here. I've got King Young Bull, Ali Motivated, Patrick Bias. Welcome. How are you guys doing? Thank you. Good, I'm good. Awesome. Good. Thanks for good. having me. Good. So the first thing I want to know is how how did you guys meet? Like, how did this trio come together? Well, it actually started, well, me and Ali have been doing music together for about, like, I want to say, like, eight years, about eight, nine years together. But it all started, like, playing around and everything like that. But then okay. we took it, like, to the next level. Um, I'll probably say, but I'm 23 now. Probably when I was like 18, that's when we like really took it serious. Well, he took it serious, and then when I turned 18 and graduated high school, that's when I really got into it more. That's when you started putting more of the time in, not just mm -hmm. a hobby. Yeah. And I heard you say in, in an interview too with the label um, that around 18 is kind of when you started taking it serious too, Elite. Yeah, yeah, like 18 is when I like started like just feeling like this is something that I want to do with my situation. You know, I was doing this whole school thing, football, basketball, but it, I just always like kind of just the music and stuff like that so okay yeah. and how'd you get involved patrick i i put up a post on the on well i met elite i met elite and king a few years ago okay uh through a music video and then um i had posted up uh and elite he used to always send me you know uh songs for for, for my videos and everything like that and so I had posted a, a post on Facebook. I was like, whoever hits me up first, I'm gonna, you know, I shoot their music video for free. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And so Elite was like, hit me up. And then I've always spoken to my cousin, like, you know, I wanna, I, I would like to work with Elite. I would like to work with Elite. And so ever since then, we just started clicking and it just like, just grew. And it seems like it's clicked really well from the videos that you guys have made from your vlogs. It seems like there's something that, you don't always find that especially I think later in life sometimes as adults yeah, we tend to like clash the and they start to get <laughs> yeah. you know we're all in our own zone have our own thoughts and it's real hard to find yeah. that compromise but you guys have seemed to have found it really really well like a day for you is kind of like a, a, a album that I did for myself mm -hmm. as far as like I wanted to go melody wise you know just like support like I wanted it to touch people's ears where it just be melody like okay I like this it's just I could ride out to it so a day for you is kind of a project that I went different from. I usually was in a trap formation, but I kind of 
use it as a pop melody like artists now. Okay. Yeah. And I like that you're trying out different sounds because I think some people can get stuck in the same sound. And yeah. it's a true artist, I think. Like, you look at Wyclef and look at all the different people that he collaborated with and the different sounds that he brought in. I mean, he had Nora Jones on a song and then would have the guy from System of a Down on another one. Mm-hmm. And I think mm-hmm. yeah. it shows true artistry to appreciate different types of sounds and, mm-hmm. and ex- experiment and try something else. So good on you for that. That's yeah. awesome. For that, because I, I feel as though that Watch Me Cash, man, I, I can't stop listening to it. It is really cute. <laughs> I, I, I really can't stop listening to it. I ain't even saying it because he my brother, but I'm just saying it, it because it, the song is really catchy. Like for for the whole dabbing thing that's going on, since everybody started doing the dab, like Cam Newton, the Migos, and everybody like that, it's like the way he put it, the way he incorporated it in his song is just different. And now tell me about. I've been watching the videos on Instagram and on Twitter. The the Watch Me Cash. Yeah. Uh, tell me about that. <laughs> um, Watch Me Cash is this new um, trend dance that we're trying to, um, you know, get global viral. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you basically like dab and you know you count your cash or you just do anything that's kind of just gravitates to the beat and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But we're just trying to like make it big and stuff right now. I've been liking the videos and everybody putting their little spin on it and everybody's got their own little rhythm. Yeah. SoundCloud, Facebook, all at Elite Motivated. And um, Patrick Bias, all all his social medias are the same. And King Young Boy, you know yours might be Yeah, different. mine's is, uh, well, mine's is King Young Boy, K-I-N-G-Y-U-N-G-B-U-L-L on Twitter. Instagram and everything like that. So just King Young Bull X nine three, right? X nine three. Oh like, yeah, X nine three. My bad. Right? Okay. King Young Bull <laughs> X nine three on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure y'all go just follow me and check me out. Mine is P A T R I C K B Y A S across the all social media and uh, and watch out for Patrick on TV I definitely saw my mom. Blue, blue billions yeah, yeah he's yeah. hustling over there he, too yeah he's Fellow a hustler actor. yeah <laughs> alright well guys thank you so much for coming in best of luck thank, thank you, you so for much. having us Alex ho- of course and hopefully we'll see you guys again soon Watch me dab. Watch me dab. Hey, take it easy. We got 120 feet per minute. You want to blow an Achilles? Ah! What's wrong? I'll be right back. You look strong as shit. Yeah. You want to get it? Hey, I'm not getting anywhere. Lawrence, boy, the problem is solve it. Yeah. All those years.